Well, you fast forward four years later to 2012. Mm -hmm. News broke that you got indicted. Right. 22 counts for buying stolen credit cards in bulk. Right. I mean, according to reports, you had purchased 27,000 stolen credit cards. Mm -hmm. And the amount of money spent on them is, is different. I saw, I saw 150,000 in one report. I saw 1.5 million in a different report. So talk about what led up to that indictment. I mean, I think at that time, man, you know, again, I had some things that was going on and I had my own financial issues. And so me, I've always been, I've been in the streets my entire life. So, you know, I've always, even at the height of my fame, I've always been in the streets. I've always been in Compton. I've always been in Watts. No matter what, I'm always there. So for me, my first inclination because of the way that I've thought for so many years about in my relationship with money and whenever I'm without money is to just go out there and get it. No matter what, by all costs, by all means. And I was in a place where you know what, I need to take care of my family. I need to take care of my kids. I need to do these things. And so when that came about and I jumped out there with it, I jumped in it full-fledged. I jumped in it full-fledged, real fast. And uh, I made a considerable amount of money doing it, but I look back at it and now I realize that a lot of people were hurt. I look at it, a lot of people were hurt. Well, explain to me what exactly you did. So, I mean, according to reports, there was a, I guess a hacker kid from Maryland right. who had stolen all these credit card numbers from a bunch of businesses in Seattle. Right. And you bought those credit card numbers from him? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. So how much does it cost to buy 27,000 stolen credit cards? <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, we j I just bought 27,000 credit cards. <laughs> okay. Let's just say that. So you gave him a bag. <laughs> he gave you those credit card numbers. Right. And then you start what? Just buying stuff with him? I mean, yeah, pretty much. I just, from there, I enrolled the crew. And from there, I would just enroll that crew and we would just go out and just card. Just card, 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 card. Well, we, did you have the actual physical cards or just the numbers? Yeah, I had the actual, well, how it's done is once you have the actual number, you imprint the number on a card. Ah. It has a magnetic strip. And that magnetic strip reads in, which is called a POS, which is a, a point of sales machine. Okay, I'm not familiar with this. I just want this explained. Uh -huh. So how do you create, how do you press up a credit card just when you have the number? And how do you get that magnetic strip? Well, because to... there's, all right, well, you know, one of my charges was means of sophistication of, it's just simple as me using a different, you know, uh, how, do you, how do you put it? Um, you get a box. There's a reader or writer box. And mm -hmm. it's legal to have a reader and writer box. And that reader and writer box comes with the system in which you upload it and you're able to take the numbers and you're able to imprint them on actual, it reads it, boop, 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 and it puts that number on anything. You could, well, a driver's light, anything that has a magnetic strip, it could Aha. put that okay. number on it. So this, you take this machine, mm -hmm. you pop in the credit card number, you put in your name, the expiration date, all little, that. the little three digit thing all on that the back, shit. All that and shit. now you have a brand new credit card. A brand new now, credit does card. Does it have your name on it or the person's name on it? Well, pretty much it don't have no name on it. You have a credit card with no name. Because I knew how to go bypass that and actually I'll just use a gift card. I'll walk in the store and get a gift card and take that gift card and, and, and just put the number on the back of that magnetic strip. And then from there, we'll go in the store and after store, after store, after store and continue to use it. Uh -huh. And so if anything would happen, they could just leave the card there and get up out of here. <laughs> okay. And if they did it, they read on it, it just says gift card. Okay, and it was a crew of people. Right. Like I'm looking at uh, these names. Right. I'm not gonna name them all, but right. from 23 year olds to 41 to 54 year olds, there's a right. bunch of people were right. involved right. in this. So you got other people right. as part of this. 